joined by Hot Track Coach following his team's 91-69 victory over Holy Cross. Coach is really dominating victory, wire to wire Vic, win. Uh, what did you see from your team today? Yeah, we did all the things we had to to win. Um, I hate to be negative after after win, but uh, we, we got a little sloppy at times. And I think we got to be careful with that. And we, you know, our battle cry is: there's only one way to play the game. It's the right way. And no matter where you are, what the score, UCLA or Holy Cross, play the game the same way and play it the right way. Uh, speaking of playing the game the right way, uh, Dejour Bowie was outstanding today, 21 points, 5 assists. Uh, he really seemed to control the game in any way he tried to, didn't he? And, 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 and we all see what he does on the court. I don't think everybody realizes what he does off the court. He's just uh, he's a great, great leader and somebody that uh, makes his teammates better. I mean, he got 21, but he made sure we, that was the other guy scored too. Yeah, he had several players in double figures, even Isaac Conte really uh, powered some down there in the low post. What did you see from uh, him today and other guys? Yeah, which we, Isaac, we, we liked his matchup. We thought he got it going there. I mean, uh, you know, I'm glad to see him make, he's making his foul shots now. He just, you know, we keep forgetting, all of us, starting with me, that Isaac hasn't played for two years. This is his seventh game that he's played in two years. He sat out last year because he transferred and when he was at Georgia, he, he didn't play. So, you know, he's still getting his sea legs. He's still getting his game rhythm and uh, he's he's going to be, he's going to keep getting better and better. You mentioned the free throws. Your team was outstanding last season, obviously, and it seemed to be continuing this year, led by people like DeJore Bowie. 31 to 35 today, uh, just really a strong effort from the free throw line, right? Well, you know you jinxed us right now, right? I'm just kidding. Um, so, yeah, our guys, listen, and, and people don't realize, we really don't work on our foul shooting. You know, these guys are just confident. Foul shooting is confidence and guts, and I always say tough kids make foul shots, and your Bowie and Jalen Ray are as tough as it comes, and that's why they make the foul shots. And Elijah, too. Underrated effort on the defensive end. You forced 13 steals, and they had 24 turnovers. What do you what do you say to that? Yeah, we, we, we mixed it up pretty good. Our guys were active. I thought we anticipated well. I thought we, we had them guessing a little bit. So, uh, you know, we uh, Mike, Mike Farley, who, we, who always does this, I mean, there's nobody better than him. You know, he had the scout, and I think he knows their offense is better than Holy Cross knows their offense question for me. I mean, we talked about before the game how this travel has taken up to you, but for your team to come down to Florida and have it open up in a dumb performance like this, can you just speak on just the grind that your team has been through? Well, you know, uh, Kobe Bryant, we watched a little video clip, and Kobe Bryant has a phrase, you gotta, you gotta like the grind. You gotta love the grind. And we show our guys that every year, because it is going to be a grind. And you're going to have tough road trips, and you're going to have long road trips, and this is one of the toughest I've ever been on in my life. Um, but the season's going to be tough. Winning three games in March is going to be tough. You know, it's a uh, you know, you got to play tough games in tough situations to, to, to be tough. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.